Yeah. This year's motto is transcend the dimension. We must go beyond the dimension that we live in. Let me tell you what this means. Okay. I should explain what dimension first means. There is the first dimension, right? The first dimension is when two points make a line. This is called the first dimension. Is there such a thing as a zero dimension? There's no such thing, but let's just say it's a point. So, what about the second dimension? If you connect multiple lines together, you get a plane. This is the second dimension. And the third dimension is an object that takes up space. We all live in the third dimension, right? We live in this space. However, if we go into the fourth dimension, then time is added on to the third dimension. Time can be seen as another spatial dimension. Then we can call this the fourth dimension. What about the fifth dimension? When time and space are bent, we are now going into the world of eternity, and time will disappear. This is the fifth dimension. Let me explain a little more. There is this space right here. Here, there is a notion of time, right? There is a beginning and an end. The beginning is called alpha and the end, omega. The fourth dimension has a beginning and an end. But let's say we bend the space right here. In Einstein's theory of relativity, we see that time can be bent. What happens if time is bent? When time is bent just like so, the beginning and the end points actually meet. In order for these points to meet, the dimension here needs to bend, so this becomes the contact point. Thus, this point becomes the starting and end point. The Bible says, I am the beginning and the end. The original Greek says alpha and omega. Where is God then? He is in the fifth dimension. In the dimension that transcends time and space, this then becomes eternity. Why is this so? That's because the beginning becomes the end and the end becomes the beginning. If it repeats, is there such a thing as an ending? There is no end. That is why it goes into the realm of eternity. If there is such a thing as eternity, what must we aim for from the fourth dimension? We must aim to enter the realm of eternity. If there's no such thing as eternity, this doesn't work. But there is such a thing as eternity. Most people say that if they die, it's all over. This is how a lot of people think. However, it is not all over once you die. Which dimension do most people live in? They live in the third dimension. In order to transcend the dimension, you must go from the third dimension to the fourth. But if you see people's lives, they would be lucky to even stay in the third dimension. Many even live in the second dimension or even in the first dimension. Some even live in the zero dimension. Those who live in the zero dimension are only able to think about themselves. They are alone. They do not have any relationship with anyone else. What about those who live in the first dimension? They only have relationships with certain types of people. They don't care about those that they don't know. You know those people who always hang out in cliques? It's those people who don't care about anybody else. These people live in the first dimension. For another example, let's say two people are fighting. They don't really care how other people view them. The two people fighting 
only care about defeating the other person. This is the only thing they're thinking about. From an outsider perspective, both of these people are basically the same. These two people will do anything to become the winner. These people live in the first dimension. However, those who live in the second dimension, they actually consider how other people might view them. Even if they are fighting with someone else, they will consider how other people will see them. The same is true for good relationships as well. For these kinds of people, at least on the surface, they care about what others think. These kinds of people live in the second dimension. What about people who live in the third dimension? These people do not just think about relationships that are only within their own dimension. They also consider the relationships that are outside of their own playing fields. These people can see beyond the perception of their partners. They can also see things from the perspective of the sponsors. They can see it from the company's perspective, even from the perspective of those who are outside of Atomy. These are people who can think in different dimensions. These people can think according to the third dimension. Actually, if you look around yourself, your children are close with their peers. What about from the parents' perspectives? When seen from a dimension higher than that of the children, they can identify many problems. That is why spatial intelligence is necessary in order to transcend dimensions. What then is the fifth dimension? It is those people who are able to reflect the ideas of others that are in different levels and positions from themselves. These people are in the third dimension. But then imagine if these people are able to add the factor of time here. What will my life be in 50 years? What about in 20 years? The people who are able to think this way are those who live in the fourth dimension. I might be well off now, but what about in the future? Let me give you an example. It's like a lot of people might disapprove right now that you are involved in network marketing. These people live in a different dimension. However, as time goes by, what do you think will happen to those people's lives? If you are able to look into the future like this, then you are able to live in the fourth dimension. When we write our life scenario, it is so that we can live in the fourth dimension. Usually, those who lack a sense of reality seem to be strange and are said to be living in the fourth dimension. We say that they are out of this world. They live in a totally different world of their own. But you actually need to think that way. People around you must say that you are out of this world. They have to say that they cannot get through to you. This is how you live a successful life. Why is that? Those who are successful are not people who just look at the reality of their own lives. Successful people predict what the world is going to be like. They add the factor of time to the dimension of space, and they can predict the future. It's really that simple. Only people who live like this are able to succeed. Why am I not successful when I work so hard? That's because you're not living in the future. You must predict the future and live in the future. That way, the world will follow you. But since you put the world behind you and you don't advance, the world will hit you in the back of the head. So then you tell yourself, oh, I'm so unlucky. Everything I do always fails. Hmm? This is because you are not able to read the times. That is why, in order to succeed, you cannot simply live in the third dimension. You must have a sense of the fourth dimension as well. 
So you must design the future of your life by first having the awareness of your current reality. Then you must be able to see your reality in a different dimension. Then you must look at your life from the perspective of the future. What can you change in your life? You can never change your past. It is also very difficult to change your present. Is there any way to change the state of your current finances? There are a few ways. You might win the lottery, but then what are the chances of that? Very low. It's better not to even try those things. Winning the lottery, or any of these kinds of wealth that you can acquire just overnight, they all have a very low chance of actually happening. It's similar to the chance of maybe dying after being hit by lightning. Actually, the number of people dying from lightning strikes is higher than the people winning the lottery. So, if you think your chances of being struck by lightning is low, such as the same for winning the lottery, lower. It is better to think this way. That is why people who say they will change their lives overnight are just like people who gamble. It's like people who hit the jackpot. These people actually don't turn out very well. Should you try that? That's only for fools. Statistically, you will not win in the end. What then can you do while not losing out with a high chance to succeed? We need to go to the future. We need to travel through time and design your future life in three, five, and 10 years. And you need to predict how the world is going to change. You all heard that many jobs are disappearing, right? You've all heard it. But if jobs disappear, what will happen to all those people who lose those jobs? You need to be able to see that those people will be looking for jobs. There will be many people who will be out on the streets. What then is a business that you can do with no capital? You must look for those opportunities. And that is, in fact, the Atomy business. What then will happen to the Atomy business? Will it become better or worse? You know what? Many people say that the world is going to be miserable with the advent of AI and as the world continues to change. Jobs will disappear, so people think it will be a difficult time. But those who are doing the Atomy business need to embrace those times. I've seen some very foolish people. They say, when I become successful in Atomy, I want to open up my own shop. I get so frustrated. Huh? These kinds of people cannot read into the times. All of you know, with the introduction of AI and drones, the world is going to change, right? Offline stores will not survive. That is why, before that day comes, all of you need to first change and go wait in the future. You need to be building your life in advance so that you can help the lives of others. You must be successful in advance. You should already be making thirty to $100,000 a month so that you can embrace those who are out on the streets. Soon, offices will all be automated when the age of AI comes. For our company as well, our total sales are $1 billion with 140 employees. That is $7 million of revenue per person. The more we increase our employees, our sales grow even more exponentially. Our sales are not growing proportionally with our employees. We are emphasizing more to automate our offices and to remove all manual work. That is why in Atomy, we are eliminating work and decreasing costs. 
That is how we are able to provide good and affordable products. This is Atomy's marketability. Other companies that are not able to have this competitive edge will all collapse and ultimately shut down. In the free market, such companies are also necessary. And the resources of these failed companies need to be redistributed to other entities. People from those companies should come as your partners. In order for this to happen, you must be able to predict that the world will change in the way that I've said. You must live your life in the future, a truly successful life in which you are making fifty to one hundred thousand dollars a month. You must live outside of this reality. Let me explain again. This is the present. This is the future. We need to transcend time and go to the future. Let's say this is five years later. You need to write your life scenario according to what you want your life to be in five years. So, write your life scenario and bring it to the present. You must declare, I will make $50,000 a month. I am a CM or IM that makes $100,000 a month. You need to imagine this in your mind and live your life now as if you're already an imperial master. This is how to live in the future. You must be out of touch with reality. If you live in the present, you can never change your life. Never. You must live in the future, in this present world. So, when people see you, they should say that you are out of touch with reality. If you hear this from other people, then you know you have a chance to succeed. But if people say, he's very realistic, he is in good touch with reality, there are people who say, that's too good to be true. No way. It seems like those people are smart, but there will be no future for those kinds of people. Their lives will become more and more dark. You must live in the future and say, I will be successful in the future. What kind of face do CMs and RMs have? How do you think your face will change with $50,000? Will your lips be like this or like this? Which one? A or B? Yeah. It should become like this. So when others see you, they will think that you will be successful. It should make them feel like they're missing out. You must make others feel this way. This is the way to be successful. This is the method for success. This is engineering for success. It is success science. We are looking at this from a scientific perspective. What must you aim for? The future. I will be a crown master who makes $50,000 a month in five years. I will be an imperial master who makes $100,000 a month. You must treat other people with the smile of a person who makes $50,000 or $100,000 a month when you treat people that way. Yeah. Yes. Right. You will not even be able to contain your excitement. This is how you should engage in your business. This is how to be successful in Atomy. In order to do this, you must write your life scenario tonight very carefully. Since I've been in this business for 10 years now, I can distinguish those who will succeed from those who will fail. There are people who cannot sleep writing their life scenario. There are those who cry all night. And there are those who are just so filled with excitement. All of these people will succeed. But there are those who cannot succeed. How will that work? How will I be able to make that kind of money? Will people even listen to me? People don't like network marketing. 
These are the people who are so in touch with reality. These people are bound to fail. They will fail because of such negative thoughts. As we have seen, uh, the world is changing. It will change. The future will be called a dream society. It will be called a world of dreams. Up until now, we've lived in the information age. Before our age, we lived in an age of knowledge. Before that, the industrial age. And even before that, the agricultural age. People had to be strong. And after that, they had to be smart. Now, we are in the information age. We are in the most mature phase of this age. Do you have all of the information at your fingertips? You have the entire library of the world in your hands, even masters and PhD papers. We are at the end of the information age. The age that comes after our age is the dream society. In the information age, you need to have quick hands. In the knowledge age, you need to have a lot of knowledge in your head. You could be successful back then like that, but there are still many parents who think that you must have a lot of knowledge in your heads in order to be successful. That's why they are forcing their children to study. The information age is almost over. What's the next society? It is the dream society, the world of dreams. It is a matter of who can dream the best. To dream well means to go beyond the present and to go into the future. It is to bring that future into the present. So it is about living in the future. Everyone repeat after me. Live in the future. Yes. You will be designing your own future tonight. This is very important. There will be a huge difference between those who do this and those who don't. Though it may seem small, it will be very important in determining your success. I hope you can remember that this is very important. That is the end of my lecture. Thank you for listening. <laughs>